I've talked about the claim of the Jews to be the original people who settled in the land known as Israel. And I want to turn to the Palestinians and also more broadly to the Islamic world to give an idea of how they view this conflict. Now, the Palestinian viewpoint is um, that Israel is the conqueror, the conqueror of Palestine, and the Palestines are and have been an, an occupied people. But of course, there's kind of a hidden assumption there which needs to be brought out, and that is the assumption that the Palestinians were there before, that they were Palestinians, that there was some kind of a Palestinian state or Palestinian kingdom or Palestinian country, and that the the um, Israelis and the Jews uh, occupied uh, that country, took it over, and colonized it. But of course, there never was a Palestine in that sense. Um, in fact, the word Palestine was the Roman word for Israel. It was the Roman word for the, the two kingdoms of Judah and then Israel. That whole region, the region now called Israel, the Romans called Palestine. And so when the Palestinians say we're Palestinians, they're appropriating that term. And uh, the term itself, where the Romans get it? Well, they got it from the, uh, the uh, word Philistine. The word Philistine was just sort of modified into Palestine. And the Philistines were people who lived in that region uh, in ancient Israel. So the Bible talks about the Philistines. You might remember the famous story of Samson and the Philistines. Samson, of course, the very strong man. Uh, he's captured by the Philistines and ultimately he pulls down the whole temple, killing himself and the Philistines, his Philistine captors. Uh, with him. Well, the Philistines were there, but the, and this is the sort of tricky claim of the Palestinians today, is they say, well, we are those people. We are the Philistines. So, in other words, we too are indigenous to the degree that you can use that term. We too are indigenous. Um, now, if you say that, it still doesn't mean this was entirely your land. You could be indigenous and the Jews could be indigenous also and you could have been living side by side. So it's their land and it's your land. And if that's the case, maybe your argument is that they ultimately uh, pushed you out or pushed you to the side or made you into a second class citizen. That's one way to argue. But the general way that, that the Palestinian case is made is not that. It is that, that we were here, this was our land, and then the Jews who are imposters and, and aliens, they came and took our land. Now, literally everybody, and I suspect this is true by and large of educated people in the Muslim world as well, they know that's not true. They can see for themselves the same archaeological evidence, which by the way, millions of tourists come and see every year in Israel. They know the Jews were there too. And so, and yet this is a uh, truth that they have to publicly deny. And not only publicly deny, they make international organizations deny it as well. International organizations act like, listen, we're, we're not going to say this is Jewish land. We're not going to say it was Jewish land. We're not going to say the Jews were here first. All we're willing to say is that this is disputed territory and it needs to be settled by negotiation. So this is basically the kind of uh, imbecile chant of various NGOs, including, by the way, the United Nations and so many other big international organizations, they mindlessly repeat this meaningless nonsense. Well, it's all we're willing to say, Dinesh, is a disputed territory and the parties need to sit down. So they maintain a certain uh, diplomatic neutrality, a we're not going to take sides. We're simply wishing the two parties well. And so it has been. Think about it. If, if this kind of um, tiptoeing strategy was effective, it would have worked by now. It would have produced some real agreements and settlements and a lasting peace, but it's produced none of the above. So it's clearly not working. But that, that, that doesn't stop them from continuing to go down this road, this road of we don't you know, there's a sort of false agnosticism about what you know to be the case. Now, from the point of view of the wider Muslim world, the Palestinians are an inconvenience, a nuisance, and also, I would say, a political opportunity. So let's go through that. They're an inconvenience because 
the Palestinians are not something that the rest of the Muslim world really cares that much about. I mean, it's very obvious that the Egyptians who, um, uh, by the way, Egypt has a border with Gaza. When we think about the West Bank and Gaza, those are territories that were won by Israel in wars. So in the original allocation of the state of Israel, the West Bank and Gaza were not included. But uh, Israel captured the West Bank from Jordan and they captured Gaza, or the so-called Gaza Strip, uh, from Egypt. And so Egypt has a border with Gaza. But guess what? Uh, even though you have Palestinians who are leaving, who are fleeing, who have heeded the warnings of Israel, they want to go to Egypt. Uh, Egypt has erected a barrier. So think about this. Other countries have borders and other countries enforce their borders. And even though the Egyptians are Muslims and many Egyptians express sympathies for the Palestinians and the Egyptians are like the Palestinians are mistreated and many other countries say that they're mistreated. But somehow when it comes to taking Palestinians into their countries, the answer is net. If aches and pains are your problem, Relief Factor is your remedy. Debbie and I started taking Relief Factor a couple of years ago, and we have seen enormous difference in our joints. Nothing short of amazing. Aches and pains are totally gone thanks to this 100% drug-free solution called Relief Factor. How does it work? Relief Factor supports your body's fight against inflammation. That's the source of aches and pains. More than a million people have tried Relief Factor. The vast majority, about 70%, have gone on to order more. Debbie's a true believer. She can now do exercises that for a long time she wasn't able to do. Relief Factor has been a real game changer for her, her aunt, other members of our family, Mike here in the studio, and for many other people. You too can benefit. Try it for yourself. Order the three-week quick start for the discounted price of just $19.95. Go to relieffactor.com or call 800-4-RELIEF to find out more about this offer. The number again to call, 800-4-RELIEF or go to relieffactor.com. Feel the difference.